Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Press. In this video, I'm going to give a quick demonstration on how to use the new dynamic typography system introduced in Generates Press 3.1. Let's get started. We will open up the customizer and go into the typography panel. The first step here is to add some font families that we're going to use. I will add a Arial system font plus a couple of Google fonts like Oswald and PT Sans Narrow. Next, we can use the drop down menu here to select the font display option for the Google fonts that we've added above. Please refer to this article if you would like to learn more about the differences between each option. Now we're ready to use the typography manager to modify the topography of our site. For example, we can target the site title and change it to Oswald. Then we can make it smaller and increase the letter spacing. Let's add another one. This time we will target the primary menu items and select the font family to be PT Sans Narrow. Increase our font size. Keep in mind that these options have desktop, tablet, and mobile specific options so you can set them differently. Next, let's set our body font. We will use Arial here. And you can see that there's an extra paragraph bottom margin option here. And we can see it in action if we go into a single post. The bottom margin option should be available for any of the heading elements as well. For example, H3, we also have the bottom margin option. You can always remove a typography if it's not needed. Next, let's take a look at how we can use the custom selector, which is my favorite part about the new topography system. For example, in the previous topography system, the only way to change the font size for the image caption is to use custom CSS. With the new dynamic topography system, we can simply add the CSS selector and use the options in the customizer. Another common example would be the block quote. So again, we want to select custom. and block quote. Now we can change it using the slider. If you are not familiar with how to use or determine the correct CSS selector, our awesome support team will always be happy to help. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.